Hi there. Um, in this video series, I wanted to talk to you about free traffic methods that you can use to advertise your business. Um, I know not many people, um, when they are just starting out with a business, um, especially an online one, they don't have the funds to um, advertise it. So I thought this would be very a useful topic for those people who don't have the resources to um, to pay for traffic um, and just wanted to show you some free options that you could use to um, create traffic, get people to your website, purchase your offer and then once you have the, the money, whether it's from your business, your business is starting to um, create revenue for you, you can then use that money to invest in your business and utilize paid traffic. Now. When I speak about traffic, I speak about people. Traffic simply means people. It means getting people to your website, getting eyes on your product, on your offer. And there are ways in which you can get such traffic, get eyes on your offer for free. Um, now, in previous videos and tutorials, I did say that paid traffic works a lot faster because you can actually target your traffic to show it to people who are interested in what you have to offer. Um, free traffic does take us a bit longer. So as long as you are aware that free traffic it does take longer to produce results um, then by all means you are free to tap into it but it, it does not mean to say that it is not um, a, a reliable source of traffic it is a reliable source as long as you know how to use it properly so I'm going to discuss those methods with you and also give you examples of how you can use that traffic properly um, now the first one is video marketing video marketing is pretty much what I am doing as the word suggests it's creating a video uploading it to a platform and giving people information about what you're doing. Um, most uh, people, they create videos on how to do something. You do not want to create videos um, showing, you know, um, showing an offer or selling to people. People do not like to be sold to. So what you need to do, when I said people do not like to be sold to, do not shove a link in front of somebody's face. Do not say, buy this from me. What you want to do is create value for people. And how you create that value is by creating how-to videos, um, informational videos. So for example, this video that I am doing is an informational video. I have learned these um these uh, strategies to generate traffic and I am now creating what I have or actually putting together the information that I have learned and then giving it to the to the marketplace so you can do the same once you have built up that wealth of information and it's important to invest in your education because your education um, it, you know it's it's worth a lot of money when you have that information and people come to you as an authority um, you can give give back what you have learned to that person so that you can help them as well. Um, you can also answer questions in your niche, for example. If you go on Google, um, you may type in questions that people have in your niche. In my niche is make money online. So I may answer questions that people have about how to make money online, how to generate traffic online, how to uh, create a sales funnel. Um, these are the type of questions that you can answer to. So if you are able to solve somebody's problems with a solution, then you can be seen as an authority source now some places where you can go to get to to market yourself via video is on YouTube there's Facebook live um, there I mean Facebook has this new tool where they allow you to go live um, instead of pre-recording content and then uploading it to your Facebook fan page um, live is a very useful um, tool because I understand that Facebook's the way Facebook's al algorithm is set up, it allows many people, organic audience, to actually see your life without having to boost your audience by a paid ad. So it's very useful with Facebook Live. There's also Periscope. Periscope is not that popular as Facebook Live, but it is something that you can use. There is an audience on Periscope as well. If you Google Periscope, you will see what it is. There's Instagram Stories. I mean, Instagram has over 1 billion users. So when you create these stories, you can tell your own story, how you have done something, answer questions in your niche, give information, just pretty much show your lifestyle. And when people ask questions, you can you can answer them. And Instagram stories and Snapchat stories are pretty much the same. Instagram or um, actually piggyback piggybacked off of Snapchat, um, but they pretty much do the same thing. They're short, fifteen minute um, videos that you can create um, to show to your audience.
um, the next type of uh, um, the next type of free traffic source is on Facebook. Um, you can use a personal Facebook profile, for example. I've seen so many people come into the 4% group and they have simply posted their link, they have told the story, they have um, said what the 4% group has done for them and when they post that to their personal profile, their friends see it. So if you have a lot of friends on Facebook, that's one way that you can um, generate traffic through your personal um, Facebook profile. You can also do the same on your Facebook fan page. Now the difference with, with Facebook is their fan page and the profile page is that Facebook has worked, has um, has changed its algorithm in such a way that not many people see your post on a fan page as opposed to a personal profile. So when I speak about a fan, sorry, a personal profile, by that I am talking about um, your personal your personal page, so where you have your friends, your personal profile, and where I speak about a fan page is one that you have to create for your business. So your friends and family aren't on your fan page unless you ask them to like your fan page. So I'm just going to show you the difference between um, a personal profile and a fan page here, so you can see what I am speaking about. So this here is my personal profile. So here um, on my link, sorry, on my homepage, uh, this is where I have all my personal information. So I have a personal audience who I would upload, you know, upload content to if I feel like it. This is my personal profile, and um, this is my fan page. If I have access to it, I will show you what my uh, business page is. So this is pretty much what your business page is. So there is a difference between a personal profile and a, and a business page. Um, you can upload content to both, but the difference with the business page is that Facebook um, does not show your posts as much um, to your fans. So for example, if you have a thousand fans, it's more than likely only one percent are going to see your um, your your content so that's the only difference um, you can also appeal to Facebook groups I found Facebook groups to be very helpful um, so for example the type of Facebook groups there are if I'm in a make money online niche so, so for example I would probably search for make money online and I would look for those groups like this where you see the public group that means that it is a Facebook group this is a Facebook group, this is a Facebook group, a Facebook group. And these are the type of groups where you can post your um, content to. You can say what you have to offer. And you will find in these groups that many people have done the same. So it is free if people are interested in what you have to offer. They simply click on it and they um, ask for information. Just like how this person has asked for information. Um, that is how you can also get traffic. Facebook groups are... Um, does work but you have to be consistent with it so you can also try that to see whether that works for you now just a few um, tips to help you especially with free traffic you should post helpful topics post inspirational or motivational topics post articles or blogs that will help the user so as you can see there is a um, the, the advice that I'm giving to you is all about helping other people. So it's not about you. When you realize that running an online business is not about you, it's about how you can help the other person because that other person wants help. They're coming to you because they believe that you can provide information to help them. So that is the type of content that you want to post on your, um, on your posts. So you want to post surveys or contests, nothing too spammy. You don't want to provide links and, and say to buy this or buy that. You can do that once or twice. So, for example, every eight posts where you post something helpful or inspirational, you can add two of your posts selling a product. So that's how you do it because people do not like to be sold to. Um, you can also post funny pictures or quotes just to move away from your niche. You want to be diverse in what you are marketing. So... These are the type of content that I would suggest you um, post, especially if you are using Facebook. Uh, the next one is Instagram. Um, 
Instagram is picture posting, so it's different from Facebook in that uh, you are pretty much everything on Instagram is about posting um, a pictures or an image. So, for example, I'll show you what my Instagram um, profile is like. Okay, so this is what my Instagram um, profile is like. So as you can see, I've stated who I am. I work from home. Uh, my tagline is from employee to entrepreneur. Um, I've stated what my business is about. I'm an online business owner, and I want to show people how I built a successful business online. I've placed my video, my link here once. So this link goes to an opt-in page where you can opt-in to receive my content. But the other posts that I put on my Instagram are all pictures. They can be inspirational. Um, they can be comments about, um, uh, well, sorry, posts that would help other people inspire and motivate themselves. Um, you know, so I've posted all these things about myself to help other people. My posts, for example, are, I'll show you what my posts entail. So, are you working on yours or someone else's dreams? You know, so I have all these things. Again, they're not spammy. Um, I have not stated anything or included any links in my posts. So it's more about being motivational. And that is the way that I wanted it for my Instagram post. So if you have Instagram, then this is definitely something that you can do. When people like your posts, they actually can go to your profile and if they want, if they're interested, um, they can actually click on the link. So that's how you draw people to your to your offer again. You place your link in your profile and you have to be consistent in the type of posts that you create on Instagram. Okay, um, so the next one is blogging. Blogging or you know, it's content marketing, so you create a blog. Um, I found, for me, blogging, it's not something that I'm particularly interested in, but it is something that you can use. The, the difficulty with blogging is that it does take time to create, and you need to build traffic. To It does take time to create and build traffic, as you must rank high in search engines. So you need to learn a lot about search engine optimization by using certain keywords or key phrases in your content so that, um, Google can analyze your content and see whether or not it is going to be significant for their users. When you do that and Google thinks that your content is significant, that is how it ranks high and it does take some time to master that. That's the only reason why I do not do blogging because you have to be very good in writing content. Some people do hire other staff and if you do hire other people to, to provide that blogging for you, that's a paid form of advertisement. It isn't um, free. So therefore, if you are very good with blogging um, where you create articles of over um, maybe a thousand words and if you are if you're able to do that and you're good in that area then by all means blogging is an area where you provide valuable information to people you provide resources helpful sites or websites that they can go to helpful information then that is another form um, of free traffic that you can get to your product um, again you must be seen as an authoritative source for it to be ranked high in the search engines um, and then the last one that I want to speak about is forum marketing. Uh, you simply join a forum where you help other people again by providing value. You must be seen as authoritative and credible and it, you, you should not be spammy. Again, people are looking for help. They're looking for valuable resources where they can get information to help them in whatever it is they want to do. So as long as you understand that with free traffic, you must be seen to be helping somebody with information, providing value so that they 
can rely on that value to help them in whatever way that they want, then it's definitely free traffic is something that you can um, in, invest your time in. So I hope that this gives you a bit more insight into free traffic methods. Um, I hope you get value from this and that if you have any questions, by all means, please reach out. Thank you for listening.